Taylor, <laughs> so good to see you. Have a seat. So, have you had a chance to think everything over? Uh, yeah, um, I just don't think it's gonna help, you know? Come on, it'll be like, it'll be like the good old days. We spent every summer at Camp Rolling Hills. Seems like a lifetime ago. It was only, what, 15 years ago? <laughs> a lot's changed since then. We've both changed a lot, too. I know we haven't been as close as we used to be, but that's part of the reason that I want you to come. I want to make up for it. I know that I've been buried in my books the past few years trying to get ready for my boards. Yeah, so you can find out what's wrong with people like me. Taylor, look, let me talk to you as a friend. This would be really good for you. Trust me, I have been in your shoes before. But Dr. Sanders knows what he's doing. We're not wired the same, Zach. You can be anybody that you want. It's easy for you to say. I get nervous walking in a crowded hallway. Fear of physical contact is very common. But you can't let it control you. Everyone has irrational fears, but at the end of the day, that's all they are. Fears, they're just ideas, they can't hurt you. Dr. Sanders is more than just some teacher trying to help. He helped me get over my fears, and he can help you too. Come I'm not us. brave like you, Zach. Uh, I Taylor. Nothing to be afraid of. Will you do this? I'll come. Great. You leave first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, your mom will be okay with you being gone for the weekend? She won't even notice I'm gone. <laughs> hey, Zach? Yeah. What fear did Dr. Sanders help you overcome? Oh, it's, it's not important. Silly. No. Tell me, please. Ghosts? Stupid, right? No. It's not. Thanks, Zach. Sanders. Don't mention it. You don't want that one getting ruined. Oh, no, no, I, um, I love your class. It's cool. I understand you spoke with Zach. Yeah. And? He didn't say much. Just mentioned this weekend and the whole therapy experience or whatever. I think it would do you some good, Taylor. You've been in my class last two semesters. You seem to be afraid of putting yourself out there. Yeah. You know, who wants to talk about their feelings and that crap? I'll see what I can do. What do you mean you'll see what you can do? You mentioned in class you plan on attending grad school when you're done with your bachelor's here. I could write you one hell of a recommendation letter. You could or you would? We will just have to see how this weekend goes. God, I was afraid you were going to say that. Okay. I'm in. Perfect. 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 Pick you up tomorrow at 8 sharp. This is going to be one weekend you'll never forget. Those are always the worst kind.
are you doing up so early? Hey, Taylor. Taylor? Hello? Rich said hi. Why don't you show some respect? Hi. There you go. Good. <laughs> Why are you all packed up? I'm going out of town for the weekend. Really? Yeah, I didn't think you'd care. Well, text me when you're on your way back. Let's go make some breakfast. Yeah. Taylor. Taylor. I really like what you're doing to your head. No! Touch me! What are you doing? I told you to never no. touch me! It hurts! It hurts! I told you to never touch me! You Taylor, ass bitch. Sometimes the life people are gonna touch you. You better break out of this stupid little phase you're in. Otherwise, well, hello, Mrs. Parker. Who are you? I'm Dr. Sanders, your daughter's professor. I wanted to thank you for allowing her to come to our retreat. We really think we could help her overcome this little phase you seem to be having trouble handling. Wow, really? Well, maybe you should just take her home then, because if you bring her back the same way, I'll put her somewhere where they lock the rooms. She should be locked up. She's crazy. Look what she did. Really? Noted. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you, Mrs. Parker, but we must be off. We're running late and have several other patients to pick up. Good day. Come on, Taylor. I think he's one of them. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm so sorry. She's crazy. She's crazy. Don't think the crazies ever give you any trouble. They're not crazies, Mr. Littleton. There are levels of wellness, as you know. This group trusts the process. Trust the process. Cameron. It's my name. We all have fun. What's yours? Sorry, um, Taylor. I just, it's my phone. I, I literally just had it. Check your right hand. <laughs> so what are you here for? Same thing as you would imagine. You don't like it when people touch you? What? Oh, um, it's my fear, I guess. Well, damn, I thought I had it bad. <laughs> nah, um, I love being touched, so. But, okay, well, I don't mean that sexually, I just. Although, I guess I kind of do. And... Sorry, I sound like an idiot. No. <laughs> you know, um, you're fine. Uh, to answer your question, though, my phobia is choking. Did you know that over 3,000 deaths happen a year from obstructions of the airway? Yeah. Yeah, so, um, most of the time it happens when you're all alone. And you could be sitting at home, watching television, and eating popcorn, and wham. You know, average response time for an ambulance, if you can even call one, is about five to ten minutes. So, by the time they get there, you're blue. Scary, right? Yeah. Mm. I uh, wanted to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this therapy experiment. I know it won't be easy, and some of you are further along in your journeys than ever. But I can promise you that I will do everything I possibly can to help you address your fear head on. How much longer till we get to this hellhole? <laughs> what? What did I say? It was a simple question. <laughs> no, it's a very valid question, Helen. Ten. Fifteen minutes tops, right, Mr. Littleton? Yeah. We're looking at right, right, fifteen. Minutes. Yeah. You should each be very proud of yourselves for taking this first step on the road to your recovery. I know it won't be easy. It never is. But 
we're all on the right path. And that's half the journey. Good to see you. Good I'm see good. You I'm good. good. good Is uh, Jake? Uh... Yeah, yeah. He's. Um, I'll be uh, back to pick you up. Uh, uh, nice I feel like this is one. Uh, so mm -hmm. Monday morning, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah so sure. Whatever. Absolutely. Maybe help me out. Yeah. Pour some out. I don't mention it. I'm used to driving so, you crazies around. He just doesn't want to come out. <laughs> after I wait for you. Can help me. As we talked about. Yeah. Um, I want to get this weekend off on the right foot. Right. So. Right. How you start it is very, very important. You set the tone set the expectation and he will then know what to expect. And remember, your, your anxiety feeds his anxiety. You're doing the right thing already. You're asking for help. Yeah, I felt my, uh, my own anxiety building up, so I figured I'd wait till you got here to kind of, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, we will take care of it. Right, Stay no, here. Crisis, where's the rehab? Dr. Sanders. Uh, where's the lake? Uh, it is just right down that hill, uh, but let's all get unloaded first and then I'll give you the tour. Awesome. <laughs> hey, Doc. You never said anything about a lake. Don't worry, Helen. You don't have to get in until you're ready. No, I'm not getting in it. Okay, that's fine. But why don't we discuss this later in the weekend? Whatever, Doc. Not happening. I'll show you guys inside. Uh, watch out where you step. Uh, there's potholes. Okay. What are you looking at? That's 90 calories per swig. Jake, come on, let's go. Jake. I don't want to be here. Well, what's wrong, Jake? Not safe. Nothing here is safe. Don't, don't be silly, Jake. It's, it's just the wood. There, is that a fly? Yes, there's flies in the wood, Jake. Come on, we, we talked about this. A fly can carry millions of bacteria on their feet alone. What if one of them lands on me? Jake, listen, that's exactly why we're here, to help you with this, all uh, right? Nate, Nate, um, if, if you don't mind, I'd like to... Sure, yeah. Jake, my good friend, this is going to be something you'll never forget. Now, I promise you that if you take that first step right now and open this door, She'll be on the road to a whole new outlook in life. There are animals out there. Animals carry germs, bacteria, diseases, infestations. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, of course, Jake, they do. But there's nothing to be afraid of. Do you understand? We're here to help you, but we can't do it for you. Just have to trust me. Trust all of us just need to take that first step. I just don't want to be here. I want to go home. That makes two of us, kid. Helen, um, room accommodations are first come, first serve. Nate, uh, would you mind if I spoke with Jake alone? Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're fine, Doc. All right, we'll, be, we'll both be in. Okay. Yeah. Right, Jake? Take your time. I get here, Doc? Yeah. Everything's good. All right, I'll see you Monday. Absolutely. Oh, and remember, don't come for us until I send for you. All right, I'll wait for your message. Yes. Jake, this is the beginning of something huge, okay? With a lot of candy and, and, and all the things that are not good for you, but we're going to have. But, you know, you're going to have to put in the work, right? You do the work, and then there'll be rewards for everybody. I mean, you know how it goes, Jake. I don't think I really have a fear. I mean, I just don't want to be ugly. I mean, you understand, you're pretty. I mean, yeah, we all have our different reasons for why we're here this weekend, and... Fuck, this is like a homeless compound. 
Okay, um, so the rest of the bedrooms are going to be upstairs. Feel free to check them out and grab a bed. Um, Taylor, you want to come with me? I'll show you around. Hey, Zach, uh, I'm going to go check out the lake. Okay. kids? Definitely not. Okay. So, I think I'm going to take the top bunk. You're more than welcome to take the bottom bunk or check out any of the other rooms if you want. I'm easy. <laughs> I'll sleep forever. Well then, why don't you take the bottom bunk? <laughs> God forbid I get stuck in the same room as Helen. She's a little crazy. <laughs> Is that your professional opinion? <laughs> Not a doctor yet. Now look at this. He's good. Yeah. I'm lucky to have him as a mentor. I bet. I'm really glad you decided to come. It means a lot to me. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> it means a lot to me, too. Well, crisis averted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go help him get the rest of the bags inside. A big fan of water, huh? Not in the slightest. <laughs> I love swimming. I can swim a mile in 22 minutes flat. <laughs> wow, that's really impressive. No, I'm serious. Fastest on the team. Just don't check on the water. Hey, uh, if you mind, I'll take a swig of that. You're not afraid of my germs like a kid, are you? No, 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 that's, uh, that's not my thing. What is it then? Like the moral support or something? Oh, something like that. <laughs> so look who's decided to stick around. Hey, there he is. <laughs> How you doing, Dad? I have nothing to be afraid of. That's right, son. Neither do you. We're in this together, right? Yeah, you're right. So glad to hear it. Yeah. Um, Zach, why don't you get the grill started? I imagine you all must be pretty hungry, right? Well, what's on the menu? Uh, burgers, brats, uh, we can grill up some potatoes, anything you'd like. Any greens, salads? Of course, Kelly. We have some pre-made salads with your name on them. I'm so hungry, I could eat a horse. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Me too, Jake. Me too. Uh, why don't you all just take an hour to relax, have some lunch. Our first session is going to begin at 9 p.m. at the gazebo. We're all here for one purpose. To find our true potential without irrational fears holding us back. I know that if you give Zach and I honesty, perseverance, and a little bit of courage, you will all feel so happy to see what you can overcome. Welcome to camp, everyone! <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Thanks again, Doc. Oh, just breathe, Cameron.
Oh, I'm recording these sessions for my documentary series. I know you said you were recording earlier, but I didn't know I was going to be on camera. If, if there's anything at all you guys don't want in documentary, I won't put it on there. Trust me, I have my word. Our first group session. Don't look so paranoid, guys. I promise. This isn't going to kill you. This is going to be a life-changing event. And after this weekend, you'll never be the same again. Is that a threat or a promise? Helen, please. I can only help you if you truly want to be helped. We've gone over this many times. Kayla, if I get you to move a little bit closer to Helen, you need to get you on the brain. Sorry. I know that uh, some of you have already had the chance to get to chat a bit, but let's go around the circle and introduce ourselves for those of us who haven't had the chance. Just basic communication here, folks. Remember, you don't have to share anything you don't feel comfortable sharing. Anyone care to get us started? Zach, uh, why don't you get us started? Okay, uh, I'm Zach Mitchell. I'm 24 and I'm a graduate student at Windsor College. I'm specializing in psychiatry and human responses to alternative medicines. It kind of runs in my family and I'd like to carry on the tradition. I'd also like to add that Zach is one of my most promising students. In fact, he's probably the brightest pupil that I've ever had. He's a very special student. Taylor, uh, why don't you go? And we will go clockwise from you. And then the fun will really begin. Okay, um, I'm Taylor Parker. I am uh, one of Dr. Sanders' students at Windsor. Uh, Zach and I grew up together. He lived down the street from me when we were kids. Third time in college, but I'm really determined to finish this time. Uh, life just got in the way. Um, I, I guess I'm afraid of people touching me. Oh, God, sweetie, wait until you try sex. Helen, that's enough. In fact, it's your turn. Okay. I'm Helen. I like a little ass play in Double Rainbows. And if you try and get me to go in that lake, I will cut you. Helen, fear of water is actually very common. A lot of people... Please, Kate, you sound like a pussy. It's fine. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. It's good to set boundaries. And we're all here for each other. Wait, how do you sound like a pussy? He wasn't even meowing. <laughs> <laughs> very good, my man. Nice one, buddy. What about you, Jake? Me? Uh, I... Me and Jake, we, um, both got a thing. I was afraid of germs, but now I'm not anymore. Thanks, Dr. Sanders. What about you, Kiri? Um, I, I guess I kind of always had a you know, fear of dentists. I used to get these really severe toothaches as a kid. They're like really bad. And sometimes they would last for days. Um, I haven't had them in years, but I still dream about them. It, it makes it worse. Sometimes dreams, uh, even daydreaming, can be a powerful illusion. But that's all it is, an illusion. Just because it exists in the mind doesn't mean that it can actually cause pain. Sometimes it, it, um, 
I mean, it hurts so bad. It's bizarre, Doc. I've, I've had a half a mind to just pull them out and, you know, more dentures. You know. It's good to get this out in the open, isn't it? Cameron, your turn. Hi, my, my name is Cameron. I'm, um, I'm a 18, high school senior. I'm graduating in a few months. I've got um, sports scholarships to most school and pretty much any state, which is kind of cool. Um, thinking about maybe uh, baseball at, at Riverside U or um, football at Washington. I don't know, you know, whatever, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me? You're a good-looking sports star that will literally have his entire life handed to him on a silver platter. <laughs> you know, I remember guys like you from high school. Hated them then, hated them now. And judgmental much? <laughs> Actually, like, a really nice guy. Oh, God, so. that's what they all say. Guys, this is supposed to be a bonding experience. Not an all-out attack. Cameron is a bright kid. Mm. Maybe if you actually got to know him, you'd see that. You know, I don't think it's fair to judge him or anyone else here. We all have our demons. Something the matter, Zach? Uh, yeah, I keep getting a hissing interference from Kelly's spot. <laughs> Oh, I'm heaping fun over there. I'm surprised she didn't break the damn camera. Helen, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, well, at least I don't have to be drunk to look at myself in the mirror. At least I don't have to look in the mirror 800 times. I think it's going to get better. Okay, Helen, Fuck let me just you. Stop. You're just jealous. Okay, jealous of yeah, what? Your busted ass that. weave and caked on makeup from the dollar store? Okay, this is aggressive. You are Helen. such a bitch. Helen, hey, Helen. Helen. No, 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 maybe I am a bitch, but at least I don't have an eating Your disorder. Your tone is aggressive. Fuck you. Okay, okay, everyone, everyone just sit. Nate, Nate, let her go. Please, please have a seat. Dad, I'll help you figure out that camera. Everyone else just take a break. It seems that for some reason, tensions are running high. Go. Right. Helen, if you could stay back for just a second. Thank you. Thank you. Everything's fine now. It was weird. I'm glad it's working now. I hope it didn't slow you down. Yeah, yeah all good, Doc. I'm gonna have a chat with our problem child. Do you want to check in on Kelly and see how she's doing? Yeah, of course. Helen, a word? to Kelly was wildly inappropriate. So you she can take it. We're all here to help cope with our fears. Did you realize that Kelly has extreme sensitivity in regards to her personal appearance? Who doesn't? isn't going to help any. Trust me. I know. My point is, we're all 
all here to get better. Yourself included. Listen, Doc. I'm only here because the court ordered it. I can handle my fears just fine. It's not my fault that the others can't. Gone? Yeah, she just took off. Don't worry about it though. Dr. Sanders will handle it. You okay? Yeah. I'm good. That was, that was unprofessional. No, no, it, it's okay. After this weekend. Let's get inside. Mmm, smells good. How did you sleep, Jake? Not too bad. Anyone else awake? I don't think so. At least not when I was up. Mm. You know, Jake, there's gonna come a time where you won't have your hand sanitizer. I'm sorry. Bad habit. It's okay. Here you go. Pancakes, Jake. Taylor, how many pancakes would you like? Oh, uh, no thanks. I'm not really a morning eater. It just kind of drags me down. Uh, well, would you at least like some coffee? I just brewed a fresh pot. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Sometimes I feel like it's the only thing that keeps me alive. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thank you. Who's that? That's actually a very good question, Jake. Zach, where did you go? I didn't know anyone else left. I was shooting some footage for my film. <laughs> the hills out here are beautiful. And there's nothing better than free production value. Yeah, just don't forget about us when you become a big celebrity. <laughs> Only if you can be my muse. Yeah. Dr. Sanders, what time is our first session? Any reason in particular? No, just thought I'd take a little walk, explore. You know, I think Zach had the right idea. 
That'll be fine, Taylor. Just try to be back no later than 10. Today is going to be a very big day. Oh, yeah. Our tops. Promise. Have fun. Thanks. You too. Taylor. Yeah? I like what you've done with your hair. Thanks, Seth. Pancake? Yes, please. <laughs> Pass me your plate. So that stuff will run out of his teeth. I don't like it. Hey, listen, I said it. The stuff's not good for you, right, Jake? Don't eat it, all right? It'll eat enamel right off your teeth. Nate, Just knock it off. Nate, please. Everyone is here for the same reasons, including you. They're um. They're right. Sorry, Doc. Just be sure to brush your teeth when you're done, all right? You know, real bad. Smells like pancakes. <laughs> Want some? Nah, I'm good. I had my shake earlier. I think I'm gonna go try and get some more footage. Maybe catch up with Taylor. Uh, Doc, did you ever hear back from Kelly? No, but I plan on checking in with her later. Remember, Kelly's strong. I have no doubt that she'll decide to return to treatment when she's ready. Is someone making me a plate or something, or what? Taylor! Okay, here we are in beautiful Krivitz, Wisconsin, Dr. Sanders Lake House. I'm so excited to be here at his very first therapy session weekend. And Dr. Sanders has already made some success with our youngest patient, Jake, who has an excessive aversion to germs coupled with obsessive thoughts and mild autism. Now, even though some of the other members of the group haven't quite warmed up to his methods of teaching, I'm extremely confident that today we'll see some major breakthroughs. Taylor? Taylor, if that's you, uh, let's head back for the first session. Taylor?
Taylor! last night. Oh, Zach, did you find Taylor? Uh, no. Dr. Sanders, I need to talk to you. How about you, kid? You already saw a ghost. Ghosts are real, Helen. Zach, where's Taylor? I need to talk to you. Uh, what's, what's going on? Yeah, is she okay? I mean, Privately. Everyone, uh, take five. Be right back. What's going on, Zach? I found this. What's this? I think it's Taylor's. I found it out there on the trail. Something fucking happened to her. Is this hair? Are you fucking drunk? Of course it's Zach! hair! Zach! That's enough. What else did you find? Nothing. This is it. Doc, I think we need to find Taylor and we need to get the hell out of here. That's impossible, Zach. The van will be back until Monday afternoon. What the hell are we going to do? Simple. We tell everyone the truth. Please. Taylor's missing. Wait, what do, you, what do you mean she's missing? You better not tell it out of here like that, Skelly. Show them, Zach. Are you fucking serious? Is she okay, Dad? Oh, hold on. So what, what was she like, was she attacked? I mean, Doc, are there like bears out here or something? Well, what? Nothing I'm aware of. Well, then where's the rest of her? I don't know what happened to Taylor, but one thing's for sure. We need to find her immediately. I'm asking for all of you to help me. Yeah, 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 I'm in. I'm not going anywhere. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm staying right here. She's a big All right, that's, that's fine, all right? That's, that's fine, all right? I'll come to you, Let, let's go. Dad, I, I don't want you to go. Hey, listen, everything will be fine, okay? Listen, listen. You can stay here if you like. Helen, you watch him, all right? I'll be right back, all right? Do you think she's okay? I don't know, kid. I don't know. It was right here. I, I, I don't see any signs of a bear. How do you know about signs of a bear? I'm an Eagle Scout, dude. This doesn't make any sense. Taylor! 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 Zach? Tell me exactly what you heard when you came out here. This this buzzing sound and then and then there and then there was this whispering. I, I don't know how to describe it. And that doesn't sound like a bear. Taylor! I'm such an idiot. I, I was filming and I, I have it on tape. Thoughts and mild autism. Now, even though some of the other members of the group haven't quite warmed up to his methods of teaching. I'm extremely confident that today we'll see some major breakthroughs. What was that? Taylor? Taylor! Taylor, if you can hear us! Thank 
Okay. What are you doing? Where did you go? This is a joke, isn't funny. All right, I spent a lot of time and money on this weekend. I'd like to get some answers. What the fuck is this? This isn't even reality. <laughs> this isn't happening. There, there, there has to be a, a valid explanation for all of this. This isn't the first time I've heard of something like this happening. What do you mean this isn't the first time? Nothing. I, I only meant that some people respond to therapy and treatment differently. Listen, I don't consider putting my son's life on the line as a response to therapy, all right? Where the hell is he? My son, he's a good boy. Listen, I know, I know he isn't safe. So wherever he is, this isn't some type of fucking game. I just want to find my son and get the hell out of here. Oh my God, Taylor. Where's Helen? Jeez, what the hell happened here? Did you see or hear anything, Helen? Uh, so I heard Jake scream and I ran here as fast as I could. And I, I ran here, the, the, the door's locked and it, it was locked from the inside. He's nowhere to be found, Jake. All right, and this, all right, this, you, you, you were the last one to see him, so what the fuck is going on? Don't look at me, I got a call and went outside, I saw you guys running in, I, I didn't know what was happening. Is he okay? I don't fucking know, Helen, I don't fucking know, I have a fucking clue. I'm sorry. Please leave a message after the tone. Jake, buddy, it's the ad. You need to call me as soon as you get this, all right? I heard her screaming. I, 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 I can't find you. Don't get really worried, please, please, buddy. Be okay. Please be okay. Zach, Cameron. 
why don't you two go and continue searching for Jake? I'm sure it's nothing. There has to be a logical explanation for all of this. People don't just vanish. Tim, what about Taylor? Zach, please. Like I said, we will figure this out. I promise that everything is going to be just fine. You have my word on this. Dude, Zach, wait up. Something isn't right, man. Yeah. What the fuck was that stuff? Where's Jake? Where's Taylor? I don't know, but we're gonna find him, okay? Look, I know this sounds crazy, but... I think they're dead, man. I mean... What the, what, you know, what the fuck was that stuff? Don't say that, There was, that, was, there okay? was blood in there. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Come on, boys! He's got to be around here somewhere. Dr. Sanders, this is bad. This, this, this is really bad, yeah, guys. Okay. What matters now is that we find the boy. Come on! You want some coffee? No. I can't eat anything. Here. Don't worry. I'm sure he's fine. How can you say that, huh? He's not the type just to wander off. I, I know. Kids do it all the time. That's fucking bullshit, Helen! I, I know my son, all right? For God's sake, he won't touch fucking dirt. Why the fuck would he be off on his own outside? Answer me that, will ya? What the fuck, you idiot? He'll show up. I'm sure of it. Oh, fuck. I just can't stand to do nothing like this. What are you doing? Call the police. He's been gone for five One minutes. Hello, hello, P police? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need the police over here at the, uh, at the, uh, uh, Helen Anderson. Helen, the fucking Anderson! Helen, the fucking Anderson! Helen, the fucking What do, know. What do what you fucking know, know Helen? Is, okay? what, what, what do you fucking... Hello? Hello? God! you just said to me? Yeah, that's what I fucking said to yeah. you. Yeah, that fucking bullshit. Your son's been gone for five minutes. Mine's been... Mine's been gone for five years. I... I didn't know. It's not something I have to bring up in casual conversation. Where are... We're at the beach in California. I knew about the current warnings, but Michael wanted to go so badly. So I took him, told him not to go too deep. He was only 12, but he was such a good swimmer. Plus, there were lots of other people swimming, so I wasn't too worried. After maybe 20 minutes or so out there, he uh, got pulled in by a riptide or something. So completely under. I only saw him pop up once screaming. I tried to save him. I ran out and swam in the water and that's when the current got me too. I was sucked out in the middle of the ocean in a matter of seconds. I thought I was going to die. I went under and right when I was about to breathe in the water, someone grabbed me and pulled me out. Some jet skiers at the right place at the right time. For me anyways. They never found my goal. Not even a trace. I had no idea. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Shit happens. Water. 
Why? The water. What? What? What up, Jake? By the lake? Fuck. Jake! Jake! Wait! Jake! Guys, guys, hold up. It's Kelly's car. Wait, be careful. Black sledge. She must be around here somewhere. Kelly! I, I, I thought she left. Dr. Sanders, wh wh what do we do? Come on, we've got to go back and tell the others what we found. He's still breathing, so let's so let's get him inside. Yeah. Okay. You went in after him. I guess I did. I didn't think you had it in you. Well, I'm full of surprises, Doc. Let's find your patience and get the fuck out of here. We just need to hold off until morning. The van will be back then and everything will be just fine. Everything will be just fine. I found a chunk of Taylor's hair in the woods. We now have three patients missing. There's this gross black sludge that keeps showing up everywhere, and now Nate is lying unconscious in bed. I don't see how anything could be less fine. Why don't we just go and try to find help? I mean, we have Nate's car. We can go and try and see if somebody's around. I couldn't find his keys. I already tried to be lost, lost in the lake. Well, what about um, Kelly's car? I, obviously, staying here isn't doing us any good. You're right, Cameron. Yes, uh, why don't the two of us go and see if we can get Kelly's car started? Zach and Helen, stay here with Nate. Uh, hopefully, there's a logical explanation for all of this. Keep an eye on the door in case someone returns when we're gone. Are you coming, Cameron? You're gonna be okay. I'll be alright. Deep 
breaths, Cameron. Come a long ways. You all have. We'll get help, find the others, and by Monday morning, this will all appear to be a bad dream. Don't let all of this damage all the progress you've made. Progress? Yeah, I feel worse than ever. I, this obviously isn't going to end well. You're strong. You've always been strong. I mean, where's that happy-go-lucky teen that I've been treating for the past year? He's in there. Yeah, I'll be a lot happier when we find everyone and I'm home. Okay, this weekend was a mistake and I wish I had never come. I'm trying here, Cameron. I've got nothing but the best intentions. I thought this would be a good learning experience for each of you. That there are others out there just like you. What did you mean when you said others had responded differently to therapy? I mean, I mean it, you said you'd seen this before. Some people are stronger than others. But others succumb to their own personal demons. Zach, how long have you been working with the doc? Well, I took his abnormal psych class and I've been his TA the past few semesters. Why? I feel like Dr. Sanders isn't telling us everything. <laughs> Funny you should say that. What's that? I found it in the black sludge out there in the garage. What is it? I don't know. But I know it's not Jake's regular medication. What does that mean? I'm not sure, but I think Dr. Sanders could be drugging Jake. I, I, I just don't know what's going on. If I knew, Cameron, I tell you. <laughs> we just need to stay focused, okay? I know we've had some setbacks. But that doesn't mean that this is all for nothing. Yeah, setbacks, that's to say the least. I mean, that kid is dead for sure. And and, and, and that Taylor's hair, the shit in Kelly's car, I mean, I, I demand to know what's no, going that's on. That's enough, Cameron! You want to get better, don't you? I'm not sure anymore. If you want to get better, then just do as I say, do you understand? Come on, we're gonna find some answers. Sorry, Cameron. I'm sorry that I have to do it this way. And I know that with your condition, this might be difficult. But here. What are those? Take them. No, I could choke on those. What are they? Oh, Cameron. Cameron, it's going to be fine. Let's take the pills. Take the pills. Take the pills, Cameron. Take the pills, Cameron. Cameron, to take the Oh shit, Doc, Doc, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I really didn't mean to. If he catches us in his room, we'll be pissed. We gotta make this quick. Let's do this. Where do we start? Wait, what's this? Where that black booze? Oh, shit. Whoa. This is interesting. Wait. I thought we were the first group to come up here. Doesn't look like it. What is this? Coke or something? No. Not the right color. Looks like he's smashing up those pills. How would he do that?
you doing here? Dad, I made you some pudding. I, uh, I can't eat that. That will rot my teeth. It's fine, Dad. Try it. Here. Try it. I thought you were gone forever. I did. I thought you were gone forever. Try it. It's really good. Jake. I thought you were dead. I thought you were gone forever. I did. I thought you were gone forever. I'm right here, Dad. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were gone forever. You're gone from everything. I can't hear right here, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. What's this? It looks like old case files or something. Oh, that's another one. These are his old patients? Zach, how well do you know this guy? I don't even know anymore. Have you taken any of those drugs? No. I mean, no, I don't think so. This guy's mental. We've got to warn the others. Shit. Cameron. Cameron, I don't have these smashed up for you, <laughs> but <coughs> now is the perfect time as ever to get over your fear of choking. <laughs> yeah, yes, we're gonna we're gonna help you. We're gonna help you get over your fear no. of choking. The no, fuck off! Take it off! Take it off! That's a good boy. Down the hatch. Down the hatch. <coughs> it's going to be fine, Cameron. Come on. Let's get back to the cabin. <coughs> now, why would you go and do a thing like that? I'm trying to help you, Cameron. Fuck you, you're insane. No. 
What well, is this shit anyway? I'm the doctor, Cameron. You're the patient. Now, if you aren't going to take your medicine, then I have no choice but to terminate this relationship. Take the pills. Back, Helen! Don't do that, Cameron. Put a fucking knife? What are you gonna do? Stab me? Last chance, Cameron. Take the pills. I want you to get better. Take the pills, please. I Zach. want you to get Zach! Over here! Come, come back, come back here, Cameron! Come back! I'll be good. I'll be good. Where are you, Cam? It's just me. It's, it's Dr. Sanders. We used to have trust. I don't like it when we're fighting. Remember, it's about trust. Now that you don't trust you, if you run away every time there's a problem. Communication, Cam. Effective communication. Zach. Zach! Zach! Dr. Sanders! Doing? Looking for a weapon. I'm gonna end up like Nate, do you? Yeah, take this. Really? I got something better than this. Whoa. What, you think I'm gonna come out in the middle of the woods with a bunch of strangers and not be prepared? Please, I bought this for the trip. Let's go find this bitch, because he's got some explaining to do. What is the meaning of this? Where's Cameron? Take everything out of your pockets. We found the files, the pictures, everything. You really shouldn't be snooping through my stuff. You could go to prison for a very long time, both of you. Not exactly the start to a promising new career, is it, Zach? I'm pretty sure a doctor's oath to first do no harm takes precedence. I only wanted to help. Yeah, you want to help? Then tell us, where's Cameron? Oh, Cameron. I don't know. I thought he was with... He's not with you? Is he okay? He wandered off in the woods while we were looking for help. Are you I... fucking kidding me? <sighs> Have you seen your fucking shirt? You just pulled out a knife covered in blood. Explain that! No, oh, I almost had it right this time! With each trial group, there are fewer side effects. <laughs> side effects? I don't consider the death of nearly an entire group of patients a side effect. You were my hero. Now I can't, I can't even look at you. 
<laughs> You're disgusting. I know you'll never get away with this, right? This is the end of the line. Police are on their way and you can explain everything to them. I'm sorry. I couldn't save them. And I can't save you either. How many have there been? At first. The drugs were working. Their fears were subsiding. <laughs> but then after a couple of months, it wasn't enough. Their fears had returned stronger than ever. I upped their dosage and I changed the formula only slightly. But it was too late. You killed them. You've drugged them. Zach! The drugs only turn the fear into a substance. Something your body can fight and eventually pass. The Agrimon. The sludge. A mixture of science and ancient magic. If you believe, of course. <laughs> I had no idea the fear was so powerful that it could overtake people entirely, disintegrate oh, their that bones. Is the shit, Sanders. I'm not listening to another word out of Helen, here. Helen, Helen, don't. It will kill you. It's going to kill all of us. What do you mean? Don't listen to him, Zach. You're both already infected with it. There's no going back now. You're fucking insane. Yeah, I haven't taken any of your shit, Doc. Are you sure about that, Helen? Zach. Zach, what's wrong?
cute, Helen. <laughs> Very cute. Bastard. Don't call me names! You know, it didn't have to be this way, Helen. You were the only one to overcome your fear. You know? Even that won't be enough! Please. 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 <laughs> There's please. nothing to be afraid of. Zach! You should have stuck with me, Zach! We made a great team. We can hey, solve this Zucko! together. What's your fear? Okay. But sometimes it feels like it's just overwhelming. Like whenever I see a spider, I just go into a full panic. Trust me, I understand how you feel, Simon. I've had my fears too, but I've overcome them with hard work and patience and acknowledging that that's all they are. Fears. Nothing more. Nothing that can actually harm you. I think I understand. Thank you, Dr. Mitchell. Well, it looks like our time is up, but uh, you're making great progress. Yes. Same time next week? Yes, sounds great. Thanks for everything. Yeah. Ellen. Wow, what a surprise. Well, I had to see how you're doing that you've got your own practice. <laughs> I mean, if I were you, I'd have left this whole thing behind become a plumber or something. <laughs> well, it's been my dream for so long, and, well, after what we've been through, I don't think I've ever felt more prepared. That's great. Congrats. I know it's been a whirlwind these past few months, but you got to ask, what do you think happened out there? People are dead, Zach. Sorry. Hey, shit happens. This wasn't your fault. Yeah, I guess not. It's just all so insane, like kind of a horror story or something. I just don't understand why I did it. 
just said it. Insane. The guy was mental. Nothing more to it. He was on to something, though. I've been looking through his notes and his journals, and <laughs> as much as I hate to say it, he was right about a few things. Do you think they'll ever find him? He's dead. You saw him just like I did. Yeah. I guess you're right. I just feel a hell of a lot better if they drag that body out of the water. I'm mucks deep. Probably sunk 20 feet down. We'll find him eventually. I'm not getting my hopes up. Look, I'm not gonna keep you any longer. I'm on my way to physical therapy. I just wanted to stop by and say congrats again. I appreciate it. Anytime you wanna talk, just come on by. My door's always open. Thanks.